<coughs> I sort of miss your alien gig, man. Now he's just like the guy from Jersey with the chain. You're not actually from Jersey, though, are you? Well, what state are you in? Oh, because, uh, like, when you get, like, the, uh, like, the tank top and the chain on, you look like a dude from Jersey. I found out my great-grandfather was a New York City police officer. But he was killed in uh, 1927. By the Jimmy Hoffa died. <laughs> Sometimes I would uh like my my like straight up actual grandpa from my mom's side. He was uh Marines Force Recon in the Korean War. And uh Sometimes we just be on the porch. We, we, oh, no, that's what we did. We were in the fucking south. You know, we sit on the goddamn porch, man. <laughs> so we, and he'd start talking about that shit. Then he'd just stop. Not to say nothing for like two minutes and just fucking like we never had the goddamn conversation. Well, the Marine Force Recons are basically the dudes that did the assassination. Here's your cold medicine, sweetheart. My daughter just got over being sick, and I'm my wife sick. I'm back, I'm back. God damn, I hit the wrong fucking button in life. Boy, anyone here? What up, what up? Where you at? Uh, moving stuff from the wet dream over to Chris M's new boat. To help him get that boat done. What are you up to, man? Uh, I don't know. I want to do crazy shit. Do crazy shit. 
You do crazy shit? Yeah, let's do crazy shit. Uh, I'm about done for the night, bro. I don't do but crazy shit till Friday and Saturday nights. The rest of the time, I gotta keep building up. We don't happen to have a whaling schooner, do we? Not a schooner, no. Do we have one that can be gone solo? Uh, the only one we have is the brig. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, Rhoda, you're welcome to build a boat or do whatever, man. It's just our problem is now is we're out of fucking wood. Well, just wait still until the morning. Still trying to fill this damn galleon up. I think that's our next oh, big project. Oh, the ass, man. Yeah, dude, it's a big ass bitch, man. Fucking hell. It is a big bitch. Reset your audio engine. Reset your audio engine. Hey, you have a good night, Matt. Yeah, you can reset your audio engine or no? Anything else I don't need on here so much? I mean, look at these fucking pickaxes, man. Pickles. Yo, what up, man? Uh? I probably could. Forgot I still haven't made a way What's to get up? up over here. Fuck. Yeah, what up? Greetings and salutations. Yeah, yes, ship sir. attachments is part of it. What are you doing? Um, maybe a step or two better than you? Trying to kill an alpha bear. Uh, I'm just like a normal Muslim dude now. Mm. 
Yeah, we were, uh, before, before I was Muslim, my family was, uh, grew up Catholic and we were Adventists for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, you'll need a diving platform as well, bro. You want one on there, you're... I'd put one on there. That's a good way to make money when you're out just fucking around. Um, I would say that I I think a lot of things that the people uh, look at as you know, like aliens or supernatural stuff are actually gin. So on one level, I could say maybe. Dude, have you seen like the, the metal version of the history of the Anunnaki? Dude, fucking the hair though, I know. Dude, it's, what up, it's like the best fucking doing, thirty-five man? minutes of shit you'll watch. All right, all right, give me a second. I got to kill the bear. I'm so tired of my dude fucking being like half dead, bro. What the fuck? I need to go to the Fountain of Youth, huh? Could be. Isn't that like the basis of the Satanic Church? I mean, like, like there's there's a lot more depth to it, but. Well, he is 100. What do you expect? That ain't no shit, man. Maybe that'll be my goal tomorrow is to do the Fountain of Youth. That should probably be my goal tomorrow is to hit the Fountain of Youth. Is this bad boy? He's fucking something up down there. We don't have any lucky. Zero, brother. Not <laughs> e no. We haven't done any power stones. I don't know how to get them. I gotta look into I it. Just, I'll uh, uh, figure it out. No, bro. no, you're, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, New to this game. I just find it to be more in line with my own personal uh, thinking. Yeah, yeah, um, like the, the way, no, no, you're, you're completely fine, man. I, I, I actually talk about this shit like this a lot. Just, uh, just a, this fucking bear's like a level 180 or something. <laughs> Playing Atlas. You know, you know, generally the, the, the biggest assholes I've found in life are fucking atheists. Cause they're, they're like fucking goddamn Bible belt in the South. I used to live in Grove, Oklahoma on the reservation. Yeah, I was on the Cherokee one. Oh, 
Oh yeah, they will mean like shit. Southern Baptist and Adventist, they're not too far apart. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Nutty Squirrel Gaming, what's up my man? How you doing tonight? God damn, I'm so sorry for, for ignoring you. Dude, I've already got like six levels off this fucking bear. But, um, yeah, so, like, you know, I grew up in the, in the south where it's just all, like, there's a church every fucking half a block or whatever, you know? Yep. Brother, do you have uh, modern warfare? I don't. I ain't got money for sure right now. My, my work has not been good the last two months, man. That's why I'm back on Atlas. <laughs> Been doing so, some Atlas RP. Now I'm just playing on the PvP server. Can you give me the just on Islam meta? Uh, uh, elaborate your question. That's 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 like a huge fucking swath of information right Do you, there. You don't have a Trinity. No, no. For, for us, it's it's basically we have a direct relationship with God. That, that, that's it. So God is not a tangible or interactable. Yo, you got you got a fucking axe or something, so you can go chop that fucking bear up under under the dock. Say, say that one more time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. Not a tangible interactable I just croaked, though. being. It's more of an idea. God, God is his own create. He, well, God, God is, is he just is. He's uh, he's outside of creation and time, but you, he is interactable. He, uh... Um... The more I... Oh, but, so, like, uh... So like, like I was saying, you know, like, he, he, he's outside of, of, of time and creation, you know, because... He fucking made goddamn time and creation. <laughs> and time is even just like, once you get a grasp on, we don't honestly know what time is, but like, certain ideas on what time is, is really just basically how fast you're playing the VHS for. And you can also rewind it. God damn it, I put the clothes back on that motherfucker. Time is the whole VHS. It's been a while since I've done that. Um. Some, something of the sort. Uh. Er, 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 everything's finite. Um. We, we, uh. We, we don't have, like, no, like, universal salvation. Like, oh, I'm gonna go believe in Jesus and. Now everything I can do whatever the hell I want, and I'll still get all the fuck good shit. No, we no, it ain't like that. Right. Either there are no aliens, or are those aliens Islamic or Christian or Jewish? Um, um I just I I feel like there's more ways to skin a cat. So one one way we could look at it is um, an example of. Uh, Pretty much, God is going to tell you everything you need to know to, uh, you know, get by with everything. And there, there's also things that he hasn't told us or, 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 or let people know about, so... Wait, where's the thing that he told me about? I don't know where my instructions are. Oh, well, this, this is what we, what we view as, you know, like, it, it's long. Uh, you, oh, you're can I go my, buy my these instructions from a bookstore? Can I give someone money that the Rothschild or Rockefellers will pocket for buying one of these Qurans or Bibles to tell me about how to live? You know, we're, we're uh, you, I mean, you, if you actually want a Quran, I, I can get you one, man. Nah, I won't read it. Like, I mean, like, I'm fine with having one. I'm just like, I just, I'm too ADD to read it. I want freaking to talk to you about it but um i mean I can, I can talk to other people about islam i'm just saying like i'm just picking your brain here i'm not i'm not trying oh, to no, reason no, infer no. yep yep completely cool dude Please. i have no problem with this the bear died 
So it seems like the difference between... I think Islam is still considered an Abrahamic religion. Yeah, an, an Abrahamic uh, faith, yeah. Yeah, so that's a real thing. That's how we roll? Hell yeah! That's how we get down with the get down, that's baby! Um... So, so, I just Abraham, the fact that had there are Abrahamic really, like... I'm sorry, I'm just saying, like... Just the fact that multiple religions can be considered Abrahamic doesn't that already cause a problem um so sort of uh so so like the issue with with that is is um say uh so like uh jewish folks this is where and, the jews uh, uh, feel like they really got it yeah so the, the say like the jewish you know, so you got, you got jewish christians muslims and uh Christianity it, itself started out as it, it, there was no there was no worship of uh, of, of Christ. Um, there was yeah, there was no Jesus. Well, there was no Christ worship, which um, a lot of people a lot, a lot of that drawing. came in with uh, with Paul, as he, he he put a lot of the New Testament, on Old his, Testament. Uh, I fucking missed. It's once the, uh, like... Once, well, like, uh, Constantine and shit got a hold of it to, uh, to quell the public's, uh, uprising and, and adopted Christianity as a state religion <laughs> and started slapping Jesus stickers on everything from their, their, their pagan tradition. You, you don't think the story of Horus is a little interesting? Or the story of the Anunnaki? Fuck off, Yeti. Oh, I do. I, I mean, well... I view that, I view that more. Like, can we agree on that? The Anuke were angels. All right, so like angels in Islam are um, pretty much. So what do you want to call them? Like they're, they're genderless, from... and they they are the, the boys crazy. only creatures of creation that don't have free will. They can only do what they're told. Like the Nephilim and the uh, rest of the angels, basically. And then humans and jinn were given free will. We were the experiment. Dude, a couple yetis up in that whole upstairs part up there. by aliens. Like, there is a creator. There is definitely something more powerful than us. 100%. And it's gone back millions of years. Maybe billions. There's evidence of civilizations dying out millions of years ago we're not the first one on this rock in space the freaking anuke or whatever the angels are in islam it's all the same story just like horus is the same story as christianity islam is nearly the same story as christianity freaking like gnostic christianity is probably the closest thing to believing in aliens that anyone has. Was it called, uh, what? Rotor, what's that Jewish? Hebala? Uh, Kabbalah, the, the, the mystic Kabbalah. stuff? The, yeah, the mystic shit. Like the numerology, the yeah, whatever. The Kabbalah, the Kabbalah is. Uh, Madonna's into well, that. What to do, what to do, boys. Dude. Like, um, what's also interesting is all the pedos going down right now, and are you familiar with the works of Alistair Crowley? Uh, name sounds familiar, I can't, can't pinpoint it though. He, he and L. Ron Hubbard, and also a bunch of people from NASA, like, pretty much started that whole pedophilia, rich people thing, under the premise that um, using sex magic, you can be, you can do these things in life, and it's kind of creepy because a lot of people in these positions are also like caught up in pedo circles, and also what's happening right now? The federal judge, the federal judge that was just about to release like a report given from people investigating the Epstein case was found dead yesterday. Yeah, yeah. These people were so powerful, they killed a federal judge yesterday. 
That's fucking crazy. Like, that's how, and, like, the Prince of England is already dirty. Anyways. Oh, God, the fucking I, I know I've jumped all over the place. I'm just saying that, like, I'm not knocking. If it works for you and you love it, great. What I'm interested in is, like, what makes people think the things they do and the power dynamics behind that? Alright. Oh, yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. Because there is a psychology behind everything. Because we're all together and we're all one big ball of energy floating together. And I love your owners. And I love your fellow Islams. You should, uh, you should look up my friend, um, Bruce. He has a. He has a radio station online called Crazy Wolf Radio. He actually lives up in uh, Washington. Oh, well, I'm about to live in PA, like in in tw 39 days. <clears throat> yeah, this is a guy I used to do a bunch of hallucinogenics and uh, research chemicals with. But yeah, hold on. Well, I forgot the beard did. Let me find that fucking link for you. And uh, Rock Racing. Okay, so it's like two and a half hours. Is that okay? What? What's happening? The Anunnaki Rock history. You know what? I think I think I think some people in Venezuela made it. Yeah, you know what? Let's load it up in the chat. I'll start streaming and we'll watch it. Uh, freaking Nibs will probably get in here. I'm just trying to find it again. Every now and then it gets taken down. See if I can get this one up there without jumping it off the wall. <laughs> yeah, I gotta redesign this. Why is it always saying not fucking available? Alright, here you go. It's powerful. What's what is saying? God damn it. There's the, uh, the link. Oh, uh, right on. Uh, you know what? We might have to save this until next Sunday. Rotor, would you be willing to come onto the show with me and Ebbs next Sunday around 6.30 PST? If I'm not working and I'm at home, I will. Uh, do you think that's a possibility or not? Six thirty, seven thirty, eight thirty, so nine. So it'll be nine thirty Eastern. We don't believe in flat Earth. Uh, Johnny, I'm trying, bro. We're really how you doing, Johnny? These conspiracies surrounding the South Pole because there's some crazy shit going on down there. Are you familiar with the the South Pole, Berners? With the uh, like the the fucking uh. Alien compounds and Drunk? shit. Drunk? Hell yeah, brother. I mean, I mean that 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 they're like a, a a surface of the entire thing, but you know. Yeah. Um, there's something going on over there, and uh, they're definitely trying to keep people out. And it's the oh. only situation that every country on planet Earth have signed a treaty to not go to there. Didn't, so, uh, didn't some research scientists just get killed this week? I'm sorry, what was that? Wasn't there like a research scientist who got killed down there this week? Yeah, pretty recent, yeah. Yep. That's why we're bringing it up again. Someone got killed walking outside their... Well, depends on where, who you ask. Some people say he wasn't killed at all, and uh, some people say Got he him. wondered 
in the wrong direction and got taken out. It's thought by conspiracy theorists, some conspiracy theorists, that if you deviate, there's only also there's only one company that you can take a trip to the South Pole with. There's only one. Every country on the planet has signed a treaty saying they will not interfere. Only Russia and America have bases on the South Pole. And they'll take you to the South Pole. But your compass doesn't work once you were there. There's literally no way of finding out where you are, where you're standing, because your compass just doesn't fucking work. GPS well, doesn't work. Yeah, it's like a fucking magnetic anchor of the air. Uh-huh. Well, that's one theory. There's more to this up pole than what's going on down there. Oh, yeah. Is that Dark Army Soldier, dude? Damn. Wow. Not ammo. Yeah, so I think there's like uh, 20, 28, like seven minute episodes to that thing. Dude, watching. But the ancient music's aliens. fucking awesome. You've seen Ancient Aliens, right? Yeah, dude, my wife loves that show. I just don't understand, I guess, like, being religious when all this, like, alien shit is pretty... I'm not saying, like, obvious, but it's pretty fucking obvious that aliens... Simple bullet I can't use in that, us. huh? I don't understand being religious when logic leads to either things that are much older than us, or things that will... Damn it, man. Damn it. I don't know, maybe they're all like analogies. Like God and angels, or Prophet, Muhammad, and everything. I forget what Islam angels are called, but there's like a... The angels. Angels, sure. So you, so you got humans, you got angels, you got jinn. We have Nephilim. It's, uh, it's mainly a... Uh, yeah, the galleon's thing. ridiculous, shocked. It's all the same thing. Like, it's all... It's all extraterrestrial worship. Well, damn, man. I'm out of ammo for this gun. It's all... Like, it makes, makes so more. much sense. It's all just worshipping aliens. So, like, uh... I oh, don't know, this might pique your interest. So, so what, what we think is, uh... Earth, we were, we were not originally on yeah, the Earth. Uh, oh, Ad Adam and Eve were placed on the Earth when they were ex exiled from, from Eden. Uh, and, they, and they had to go find each other. Um, Dude, I would love... Is there a name for this theory? Well, I mean, it's what we're taught. All right, well, no, tell me what you're talking about, because I would... I would love to learn this, and I would love to have you back on the show with, like, me nibs. I'm like I'm not, I'm no I'm no scholar level dude. Hey BD I'm, I'm crew, like, uh, much love, I'm much love, much dude. love. Whiskey fucking cheers, baby. Uh, but ba basically, like uh, I, I, you know, I had when even the whole the whole story with them, you know, how they disobeyed and that stuff, and so they uh they they were they were they're pretty much you know made made mortal and and, and exiled the earth from Eden. And after after that, they had to uh, they had to go go and find each other. From that point, and, you know that took a while. And uh, so you know a lot of uh, a lot of like uh, what like Chris, Christian science folks say, oh, well, there's only like six or seven thousand years old. Well, you know we, 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 we don't really we don't really think think so much like that because uh, time, as we know it, is is a pretty fucking human construct. It is a human construct. Get out the I mean, fucking door, bitch. Everything we've done is just a frame shot. The human race is just a snap in time. Like, 
<laughs> Rotor, I gotta rebuild this, Time bro. You gotta jump. Time is. Ah, even shit! Even I did it too. Space. space is just like distances. Those stairs are dangerous, Rotor. Those stairs are dangerous, bro. Yeah, I mean, space, yeah. Space time for sure, but I don't know. Like a star goes supernova, but you can also go to a place where you see that star before it went supernova. Jesus, the glare is terrible. Shit. Then if you want to get into like quantum entanglement and stuff. Oops. Quantum entanglement is interesting. Yeah. I like I like listening to uh Professor Kaku? When he's working on his string theory, which, you know, sort of like a... Like he describes it a, a theory of everything. String theory? Yeah, sure. Well, I can't disprove it. I don't believe in it more than anything else, but I think it's just a more difficult way of saying... Everything exists everywhere in multiple and multiverses, consecutively, and you know. Oh yeah. I'll tell you what, though, fucking toothaches are a pain in the ass. Sometimes I like to put my hand out and just like think about the air surrounding it and the fact that clearing out our yeti problem up here. The air around my very pants, like so structure are also as filled with little bits of atoms and stuff just completely Misty. bound together in molecules I guess you stayed floating around yeah no, a lot of that stuff you're going to like third eye training that a lot of people go and get into Got one for instance of that kind of stuff too. Basically, I just I just view my my job as who I am and what I am is you know to be nice to people and, and try and live life as as well as I can. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much like what everyone should think of than a religion. Like, I think that that's almost verbatim the Christian religion. It's gonna start hanging people with their different. And, you know, be a bunch of racist summoners. Oh, How yeah. the hell did you get back oh. up here, bruh? Goddamn. <laughs> we both know about that. How did you end up in Washington? A girl I met on MySpace back in 2000 and like... Three? I met her on a Millet Smith, like, Millet Smith tribute side. And I met her because I love her. Then I had okay. a job, so I joined the army. Are you in the army? in the years ago, I was in E5. But, uh, yeah. Decided I liked it better here than other places, so here I am. What's the, uh, what's the winters like up there? They're not bad. It's actually pretty mild. I mean, you know, my, my family, I mean, we're trying to move to BC. The what now? BC. Oh yeah. Yeah, th dude. There's enough of our. I'm a single man, and we've got all these like Canadian. All right. Wonder ladies coming through. That's when I get my freaking. Not bad, not bad, down. boys. Say hello and have an anchor wife. Maybe we'll start it. 
Card Korean family. Rudder, I'm gonna freaking get out of this chat. I might be back in a little bit, but I'm gonna go say hello to nephew Quinn. I recommend you do the same. Oh shit, where's Quinn at? He's streaming. I'm just gonna go say hello to him. Later, bro. Alright, well, man. I think I'm calling it. I think that's enough for one day. I'm getting close to leveling again. I gotta get to the Fountain of Youth. Gotta get to the Fountain of Youth somehow. Quit fucking shooting me, you're gonna fuck up my armor, dickhead. Hey, there's a round button. Now we're even. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad I got some points into health. Got some what? Is that a was that a headshot? Uh I don't know. I don't know where you hit me. Well no, I shot your toe. <laughs> I don't need all my toes anyway. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see. Look, we're pretty good, man. We're straight. I'm handing so rope ladder. I'm gonna do this before I log off because I've been wanting to do this shit for a while. I need some thatch. I keep forgetting. <clears throat> the uh, the rum's fun. Do what now? The rum is fun. Oh yeah. Just out of this asshole. <laughs> Chris, I got you some ladders for your boat, bro. I'm gonna do mine as well, real quick. Video for me, and he's like, "Of course I'll make you this." I'm like, "Thank you, I love you." Um, he's also the one who made my offline screen. He he did that. He is fucking. He's the guy who fucking was putting up uh the the names. His name's Smokey, and I love him with my whole heart. But um, basically, he said he'd make me the emotes, so that's that's gonna be working. Uh, working. God progress. damn it! I, I got stuck like in here. Conceptualize. So I know I'm doing a busted microwave. Hey, glass. What up, dog? There's Johnny. Yeah. Oh shit! I got you confused. My, my bad, man. Face. What up, Johnny? And then I'm doing, I'm sorry. Here, brother. I have a slot for one more on the tier one. What's up? Yeah. Oh, chat, road earners. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I wasn't even reading. I was just talking to you guys. Oh, my God. Want to practice cam capping? Not right now. Not right now. Not at all. Um, not on, not on stream. Like, but. Like, Gangsta. Yes, mud. If you, yes, I, Dude, Roto Nurse, dude. Thank you for the follow, dude. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I want, I don't fuck with me, bust that. What are you listening to, boy? Who the fuck is Santa, bro? Who's this Santa? Bro, why you got a boo on your back, bro? Are you a genie? Damn right. Oh, you're the dude with the theatrical voice. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to right. fucking hell. Hey, can can you say uh, Kilimanjaro? Kilimanjaro. <laughs> Do you have any points into help? What? You know what these blackjacks are good for? I don't know, anal. They're good for knocking you out. Oh shit. Alright, you're very tall. Fuck off.
Fuck Quit. off. I can't. Quit, I can't poke you. that bolo Away from you, creepy ass no, voice. Done. Shit. Done. Is there a fucked up barrier? Don't die. I'm just trying to level up. Uh, I think there was an alpha baron here. Wait, yeah, what he the did. fuck? I, I Where got are you guys 800. all going? Stop. Oh my god. Oh, they're eating the bear. Yeah, because they're starving. Well, let them eat. Nobody, nobody's filled up the fucking feeding trough. Meats, not beets. I got a bunch of meat. I, I just, I just killed uh, some shit, man. So uh, they're in the kitchen. So shit, I'll grab it.
About um two past your fucked o'clock. Fucked? Yeah, you fucked, bro. You, you say thank you. Yeah. Holy shit, bro! You get drunk quick. You're stupid. Did you say mom? Yeah. yeah, he said mom, bro. But this this fool's fucked. He's talking to a wall right now. Like an actual wall. wall. Uh, I gotta you deal ever, with this, uh, to be honest. You ever ride a sheep? You know you can ride a sheep. Yeah. Why would you though? Majestic. Majestic as fuck. Get on this cannon and cheat your ass. That ring. That ring is nature's cry. Fuck not. Shit, I was supposed to bring cat in. Sorry. <laughs> I did that to you three times, four times though. My bad. Bro, he's hiding from you. You're a fuck. Who, who's hiding? You should get paid for your voice though. That shit's something else. Uh, I made the. Uh... September, I got about a hundred dollars reading copy pastas for folks. For real? Yeah, hold on. Get paid for that, that shit. Give you a little sample. A little sample. All right, you here? Uh, I'm out front. All right, listen. If I didn't dial the rotary phone to get my fallopian fish stock dribbling from my clunge pool, his ample cock is going to leave my hairy goblet resembling a hippo's yawn. After having my fuck gunner fucked and then processed to fuck my turd cutter, when he removed his spam javelin from my ring piece, he was happily pleasantly surprised to see a foot-long fudge bullet staring back at him. He knew I couldn't wait to leave the butt nugget off his balcony pony. The rating of my poo-poo pipe was so vigorous, he soon felt his trouser conkers joining his baney quin pry deep in my chocolate starfish. Now, I've seen more foreskins than a rabbi during the baby boom, but the sight of his crystal missile made my sex way forth like a gusset's loose mouth and the slight of Willy Wonka's chocolate river. What in the fuck? Talking about some weird gay shit. Actually, it's from the Fifty Shades generator. Okay, well, tell it to stop fucking generating gay shit. Poo poo pop? Really? A poo poo pop. That's the first time I read that one on there.
There we go, we killed a motherfucking Yeti. That monkey is throwing shit. Dead motherfucking Yeti. Reload. Cats there. Bye. Thank <laughs> you. 
Santiago is a place I know. Goddamn treasure man. Trish, man.
every
There we go. You're a fucking soldier. Anyone around?
Level 24. Been in a regional championship himself. He has his reasons. Huh? Okay. Neither of us can see the trash can, but I'm going to throw this, and either way, it's going to make it in. Yeah! I have I have no idea, but I'll clean up. I'll, I'll put it up. Man, that Captain Crunch leaves the roof of my mouth raw as fuck. Hell yeah, it does, dude. Cocoa Puffs as well, dude. Yo, dude.